Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Viss, and we return to Hunt the Island in Ark Survival Evolved, where we made it home last episode. Uh, we also picked up a new friend, and we've got her ready to add to the trophy hall, which is our little otter here. Still don't know a name. I figured I'd leave it more up to you guys in the comments for this week to come up with suggestions or that. And I've also picked up a couple of neat things for some of our uh, helpers here. So, Carrier, good to see you. I think I want... Uh, I'm going to get more stamina for you. I'm going to give you a Mastercraft saddle. And, you know, I'll take that back. And, you know, I'll take the hide and those out, too. So, you should be good on food there. Uh, our new otter here. I think she's decent. Uh, she could probably use some more fish meat. So, yeah, I'll make sure that we're stocked up on that for her. We've got plenty of berries here, which are good. Because we'll probably be needing to put those to use soon. I just want to check the uh, the hall up here and see if I have any open spots for our otter trophy that we picked up. No, we don't. Okay, so I'll have to store all the trophies away for now. As I think I've got everything kind of on display that I have open stands for. Yeah, looks like it. I don't think I've got anything up here yet. We need to get ourselves... A uh, lumberjack dino, or our lumber harvester, because we don't really have anything for that. So yeah, that, 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 and actually, where is Jax? Uh, where is he? Yeah, keep. I'll keep his trophy on me, because I do need to make up a memorial for him. And everybody else we lost. I don't even think I have any wood here, do I? Nope. Used it all up for some of the crafting before. So yeah, that's an order business we have to attend to. Oh, this is still here? No, oh, yeah, let it rot. Okay, C4, I guess we'll toss in there. And I think I'm going to actually equip that and that. We'll throw those in here. Alright, I've got a Parasaur saddle I can slap onto Tori or Neon. They've earned an upgrade. Take that, take that. And let me start going through all the rafts inventory and see about getting these lockers emptied and destroyed. Because, yeah, the raft I'm going to have to do a lot of work on to get it into proper shape. Probably going to be too heavy to move, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, what's the heaviest things I've got? Um, well, let's sort that out by weight and see. Okay, I think it's mostly the stone... And the saddles. Okay, still can't move. Let's also try the armor. Crossbow. And see now. Okay, I can move, so... Oh, God, I've got a lot of sorting to do. I'll probably have to do on my own time. Uh, for now, let me just get, again, the raft fully emptied out and see what I can do. Okay, silica pearls, I think I'll throw into this. I'm dehydrated, oh no. Okay, that's solved. I've got a lot of hide. Actually, not a lot of hide there, so I guess it's a good thing that I had... Oop, let me take that back for now. Yeah, try to get some of these materials out of our inventory. Okay, I do actually have a fair bit of obsidian, so I might be able to make some polymer and actually make up a firearm if we wanted. Torch? Yeah, that's a blueprint. We'll get rid of that. And let's go by just alphabetical again. That, that, that over. That over, that over. That over, that, that. Organic polymer, sure. That, that. I think that's okay there. If I come here, spoiled meat, we'll toss in there. Uh, mushrooms for now, I guess we'll toss in there too. That, that. Okay, let me see about emptying the rest from that container. God, still too heavy to move. I still hate how they have the uh, encumbrance thing done in this game. Okay, let me get out all the saddles and see if I can move now. Yeah, I'm pretty slow, but at least I can probably get this all thrown out in, in order. Today's episode, I probably just going to be about getting a new 
pair of lumber, well, at least one dino to gather lumber with. I might look at upgrading our iron crossbow we've got up to ascendant quality 2, just to get the utility out of that. I think I'm also going to pick up an actual gun. I'm debating whether going for an assault rifle or just a simple rifle. I feel like the game has pushed me to the point where I'm kind of done keeping to uh, the low-tech end. Okay. I think that's all of the gear now transferred over. So now we'll grab the saddles. Get them out and then go for something else. Yeah, okay, that's done, so we're at least thinning that out. And I'll see about making up more storage containers for that corner there. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, Sal can just go in here for now. Okay, that's that. I know I've got some random trophies, too, so just while I'm thinking on that, we'll run over here and throw them in this box. The brains, the claws... I've actually got a little bit of obsidian, too. I didn't realize I had found some. That'll help out a fair bit more for making more polymer. That there, stone in there. Oh, I've got a that broken chest piece, but I think I need yeah, I need a lot of polymer and silk pearls for that repair. That can go there. Now let's start emptying this other one out. Ah uh, yeah, start with the saddles and gear and such, because that's probably gonna weigh down the most. Do a little trot to get back. There's some food in us to chase off starvation. Okay, this right here. Ah, the stego saddles. Nope, oh, and that's actually full up, so I can't dump more in there. Yeah, again, I'll have to make up some more storage boxes, and I'll probably do it after this week's videos, just in my own time. Now, you guys don't have to go through this whole process of getting the uh, inventory all managed and sorted proper. And if I... Okay, if I take those, that... Take the gear... I know it's not the most exciting of things, but I'd rather show this off than skip it in some regards, just that way you guys know what we're going through and doing, too. I wonder if I should even look at also replacing... I feel like I want a window on this front wall, even if I put it, like, right there. Yeah, something right there might actually be a good addition. Okay, ah, uh, that, that, that. That, that, that. I think that's it for there. The spoiled meat, throw over here. Pelt and stone can go over here. I think that's it for that. And let's start taking some more. Okay, there's the encumbrance warning. And work our way back. Yeah, once this is all done, I'll check those stegos down there. Probably see about team and... Okay, it's just white along the strike sides of it. I thought there was, like, a graphic glitch on that ankylosaur. But yeah, we've got two stegos right down the beach. Should be easy enough to knock them out and try, uh... Getting them tranked. That, that. That looks like it gear-wise, I think. Charcoal we'll throw into here. Crystal hide and such we'll throw into this. Yeah, there we go. They're coming around here to say hello. Yeah, so we've got a level 7 female. 
and a level three female. Okay, since that is a fair amount of metal on us, I'll run this back and just throw it right into the forge, process it through. And you know what, we'll throw the oil in there. I haven't had much use for the oil for a bit, because we haven't used up that much gas in the uh, fabricator yet. And I am at what? 182? So I think I'll just grab the metal ingots that are here and do one run back with them. And maybe I'll throw those right into... I know, let me throw those into here. And see about upgrading that further. Oh, I need more wood, so... I guess we'll just keep it there for now. All right. No, I'm still weighed down. I think it's because of all the stone. Oh, yeah, it's easily the stone that's slowing me down. Okay. Overall, we're getting some stuff moved around. Actually, with the wood I've got, let's throw that in there. Okay, I don't think I've got enough for anything there. This workbench, though, is just one of the base ones, so I'm just going to demolish it for the resources. There we go. Ah, this stuff. Italian soup. Uh, I feel like maybe I should throw some of the other stuff into one of these. Because, yeah, like, the bullets can go... The pick can go, those bolts will go, the oil pump, I guess we'll throw the scrap metal into this to be refined to something. Oh, and you're just wandering around here, eh? Okay. Oh, I'm either hot or I'm cold, I'm never just like, decent enough in between. Yeah, slowly... Actually, maybe I'll see about throwing the stone into this container if it still needs. Because I'm not sure what all I've got uh, saved away in, like, our building depot here. I think the lodge will basically be done once we've actually destroyed this lo No, I've got so much stone there, so that doesn't need. So let's get this thrown in. I don't think the fabricator will need stone, so we'll throw it into here. Okay, that should do it. That is that cleaned off. Probably see about demolishing those two boxes and coming in here and doing something eventually. But for now, let's just drop this off here. Now that's there. Uh, throw that in there. You know what, I'll pick up another empty water jar from our uh, spot here, because I think I should have some. You know, I'll take a full one, actually. I've earned a little bit of an easy thing. I've got, I think, a woolly rhino horn for the trophy thing here. Yeah, there we go. Oop. Open up. There we go. Yeah, okay. So I think that's everything there mostly sorted out. I'll just demolish these storage boxes and, you know, I'll probably demolish everything that's on here. Okay, probably shouldn't have demolished that, because now I cannot move. But, I'm surprised how much polymer was in that bunk bed. Crap. Okay, that's really good for us, though. No, no, not the raft, sorry. Just the fire. Yeah, so let me quickly throw all this into some of the useful stuff. And see what we will do. 
Okay, get the polymer in there. The pelt and such can go in here. Now let me quickly grab that metal before it does get lost. Yeah, like 160 metal ingots were used to make the bunk bed. 160! That's ridiculous! Mark just really scales up in material costs to ridiculous things. But at least that means we have plenty of metal to be working around with. Yeah, we'll throw the metal into here for now. Okay, let me take all the obsidian I've got. I got 64 of the darn things. Throw those in here. And make all of the polymer I can. That's fine like that. Uh, let me get the narcot. Actually, I don't think I need the narcotics too much, but you know what? I'll take them on hand. That's what we'll do. Actually, we'll see if we can upgrade the crossbow right now. There we go. Ascendant crossbow. That should help us out when it comes to our next step, which will be trying to tame those stegos we've seen along the beach. Now, polymer's going through, so I've got plenty there. I am leaning. I will make the... Not the flamethrower, I think just the assault rifle, really. I could craft the one. I could even make the fabricated sniper rifle. It's weird that it says it has less punch than the long neck, but more rapid fire rate. Uh, I'll hold off for now, because I'm not 100% sure what I should make, and again, that's a pretty rare resource to come by for us, so... Let me grab a couple stacks of berries, and we'll see about trying to get these two stegos added to our group. Because, yeah, the stego should be no problem to... Not you, because you are just a butt-ugly one. But the pair of girls over here, I think, will be good. Yeah, let's try to keep you over here, so if you do go to sleep, you're... Thank you. Uh, I believe if the stegos are, like, standing and not swimming, or, well, any animal, as long as it's standing and not swimming, it won't drown if it's in water. You get a stack. You get a stack. Now, let me see if I can just get my arrows back quickly. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I'll leave you two resting. Uh, oh, we even got... You're... Hang on. So we've got female... Female... Ah, you know what? Let's get the trio. There. Even if we don't use all of them, we'll just at least say we have a nice triplet. Ah... Uh -huh. have a few if we ever need. Not sure where exactly we'll store them, or keep them. You know what, maybe we'll move Carrier a little bit, just so that way. Yeah, come on over here, Carrier. Just not trying to make you feel like you have to be apart from everybody else, but it's just for sake of convenience of... Okay, yeah, you are radius of the feed trough. So that's good there. We got this crossbow upgraded, so it's doing really good. Um, what else did I want to do? Alright, I wanted to see about getting a little bit more raw fish just to give our otter, so that way we know they'll be really good and fine. Once they're tamed, we'll bring those three over to the base, figure out who we want as... Might even just keep one up on top of the, uh, the ridge. 
So that way, as we need lumber, we don't have to keep working it up and down. Let's see. Nobody really that close to get... Oh, uh, maybe we can draw. Okay, well, I think we're just going to get, uh... Technically, it should be fish meat we get from them, but it might actually just be regular raw meat. Let's get another breath of air. There we go. Yeah, we do get fish meat from them. Good. Oh, and we even leveled up from that. What have we got in here? I guess we'll take the teeth. They don't matter all that much. And I've still got a decent amount of... Oxygen. Not so much stamina, though, so you know what? I'm just going to worry about getting us to shore. And giving all this to uh, our new otter. Yeah, you three just munch and sneak, snooze. We'll have you added to the group and then put you to work soon enough. Nope. Okay, you were weirdly glitching in and out of existence, which is odd, because we saw the stego. I think you were closer. Okay, hello there, little otter. You get a lot of goodies. You get all that, and all these. And some more health to keep you alive here. Not that I hope anything comes after you here, since it's pretty quiet on the island, but still. That means you don't go after her either. Okay, that's all fine there. No, oh, you know what, I can probably throw the fiber into... Uh, something. Yeah, sure, we'll throw it in there. Eventually this will be used for more crafting. Take that metal, we'll throw it into this here. And you know what, let me see where my Stegosaurus saddles are. Okay, looks like we got two here. And I think we've got one more here. Copped it on, there's a Stego saddle. So, we're in the process of getting our uh, wood harvesting up and running. That's all fine there. I can't really make more trophy stands because we need wood for that, which we don't have, which the dressing. And I don't see that other megalodon we tamed anywhere. Like, I thought maybe it would find its way to us with enough time since it did seem to go swimming out, but... Yeah, no, I don't see any signs of it. <laughs> And here is just here. Yeah, we'll take a seat for now. Oh, to think you were just the starting four. I would have many more additions, basically double this, but we didn't collect all of the dermises, or we couldn't. So I'll have to make up a new tombstone to slap that down with the stand. I don't know if I should add one more and then do rows of five, and then I'll just have to destroy the bench and pick it up, but... To think you four were the start of many more. And how are you three coming along? Uh, you're 58, so you won't be much longer. You're 57, you're getting there. You're 44, so yeah, just gotta give them a little more time. Might as well start getting some wood while I can. And already encumbered again. Likely because of all the crap we've got on, I think the flak armor we're wearing is a really heavy set. Like, it does give us a lot of protection, but you do feel it. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to go into health, try to get 400 health if I can at least. Try to avoid, or make myself a tougher foe to go down if things do fight and try to kill me. Let 
trying to think if there's anything else I want to do, but we've got plenty of metal. Uh, there is the raft I could try doing more with. I can't make the motorboat, because that needs a... just a ton... of polymer. Yeah, 400. Why does the cost skyrocket for so many things? I guess maybe I'll make a storage box since I am just kind of stuck waiting. Take those, take some of that. And I can only craft one of them because I don't... Yeah, I don't have any thatch even in this box. Okay, we'll get this... Actually, maybe we'll put the saddles out here. Yeah, for now, we'll put those there. Okay. That looks like, I think, all the saddles. Yeah, okay, so that's at least that one emptied of them. Oh, not there. That's out of that. Let's see, there's also this one. Little bit of clean up while we wait. It is the boring, busy work, but it'll help us out in the longer run. There we are. Okay, oh, that's those two cleaned up. I think all I've got to do is now probably look at maybe making one for armor. Yeah, I'll make up another storage box and then just keep one for... I do have two cannons, so again, I am thinking of making a weapons platform for the uh, next raft I do. Or raft. Raft? Okay, uh, torch can go there. Yeah, you're still passed out. Let's get that filled. Oh! Okay, so we got one right there. You know what, let me go grab the Stego Saddles. So, we got our first new addition. I think the other one should be up in just a moment behind her. Yeah, you're only level two. There we go. So we got two, four, and try to remember what she is. Okay, she's a seven. So you'll probably get the rare saddles. Not that I know if that actually like does anything for them. I'm going to give you the sharpened plate to start with. Now, you're going to want to leave the area, you stupid pteranodon, because I'm going to use these guys to get a little bit of berries and such to start them off. Now, that sends that flying. Okay, that one's staying there, which is good. God, again, they have no stamina or movement speed. They do do a good job at the gathering. But they are slow to get moving around, so I think I will just want to leave one up to, like, be the lone forester. Oh, you stinking ankylosaur. Okay, there she is. I'll use you, get a little bit of a hit at something, too, to get you uh, with some stuff. 
And I'll come back and get the other one. Who's still asleep right now. Yeah, heavy plate. Again, I'm not sure what the heavy plate does, unless maybe, like, it prevents you from being dismounted easily. The sharpened, I know, is better attack or whatever. There. That should do... Yeah, that should do for you two. I should probably look at making some structures leading from the, uh... Harbor area, I'll call it. Well, that's what I could do on my own time. Also make up, a, like, a dock or something. To help make the lodge actually feel like you get a welcome, rather than it's just, like, a beach and walk your way up it. But yeah, I've got a few settings tweaked. Like, I think there's a... Reduce no spawn zone around the constructed objects. There's you two in order. Let's get the last one. Bring her over. Um, might even actually bring her up towards where I want to start doing the lumber work at. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, you gathered a lot with that strike. Okay, I think that's all I'll fill her up with. Uh, weight is good. Stamina. Give her a little bit more in there just to try to get her back faster. And so she's able to harvest a lot more and more steadily. Oh, you know what? That's what I could do. I could kind of, like, position them at certain spots. Like, once they go there, because there's a lot of easy trees in reach there. Ooh, and a purple drop has just come down. Okay, let's just see if you've come a little faster with me not on you. There we go. Yeah, okay, she's on her way. We can slot her in right over here with these two. And if she doesn't get stuck on stuff, which she might. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you know what? We'll bring you in right here so that way I can just move all the wood you've gathered into this and then back you up. And good enough. Come here, you. Okay, hop off her. Everybody stay put. Gather, 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 gather. So there's at least some wood back here we can start crafting with. I'll just do a little bit of reverse with you. And let me head up and see if we got anything good in that drop. Oh, I accidentally ran into that. Again, I'm not sure if there's anything specific I'm after. Oh, I think I gotta break my way through again. I've also got some reduced spawn rates for the resources when I was trying to figure out why uh, stuff bugged out and wasn't respawning on the island here. Okay, what do we got? Uh, better that. Oh, some obsidian. Not all that much, but every little bit, I guess, can help. Yeah, just do some hop, some hips. Some flying leaps. <laughs> Fly far enough to be hurting ourselves. Yeah, I'll see about breaking these down in a little bit of time. Probably just get them for stone, because I think as it comes to more crafting, I'll be working with stone further. Uh, fiber, fiber can go, that can go. The obsidian we'll throw into here. Same with some of the metal. Throw that metal in there. Yeah, we got a fair chunk scatter in there. Uh, stone doesn't do anything in there. 
That there. Okay, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Leech blood, I guess, is probably best in there. Spoiled meat. Uh, what do we got here? But, uh, I guess for now. I'll actually take that axe and use it on our person, because I thought we had a better axe. Maybe I lost it somewhere. Throw that over. Okay, so you know what? For now, we'll take you. Ah, uh, do what? You know, I want to think of what I'll call her. Ah, uh, we'll call her Millie for like sawmill. Actually, looks like I might need to. Uh, let me also see about getting Tori to follow. And just break this open, so that way it's easier to get through this little gap here. There we go. Oh, come on, let me on. There we go. Might as well take those right now. Ah, uh, Tori, can you take them? Uh, there we go. That's Tori's inventory. Doot doot. There. Now we'll keep moving. Uh, I don't want to anger the Kylosaur, so we'll just leave it be. You know what, Millie? I'm thinking instead we'll keep you down here where all the uh, little palm trees are. Make this uh, return trip easy for us. Although, I wonder if I could have her gather on her own till her inventory weight gets full. But have her so she's able to get wood. Because, like, once we're off the Stegosauruses, the specialization of, like, what their plate setting is just goes to, I guess, a default? So I don't know if I have any way of being able to, like, change that. Let me take a look. A uh, harvest settings. Ah, uh, looks like it's... Back there. I guess I don't really have any way of being able to tell you to, uh... I could spay if we wanted to, but I don't think we need that. Because, yeah, you seem to be uh, girl power all the way in the little corner that you were with everyone at. Okay, I guess there's so much inventory weight that she can't actually harvest anymore. Get some in there. Get some in neon. I have truth be told, probably better to take everything from Tori. Get into neon first, then once he's loaded up. Okay, come on, Millie, let's... And we'll get you with some more inventory weight. You do your little jig thing. Hello, Neon. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit more in ya. And give you some more carry weight, too, to help. Now I'm trying to get into Tori. There we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, I, I think I still have more in Millie, don't I? Yeah. And I completely went over, uh, Tori. Okay, get those in there. Oh, yeah, what? I don't know if it's just because of her natural stats, but it feels like Millie's getting more, uh, more wood for us than I was getting with, uh, Jack. Yeah, that should be him full up, so we'll just get a bit for Tori to bring back with us. And there, just get a lot. No, I think Sharpen Plate gives us more, doesn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, we'll leave you here, Millie. Actually, we'll take out the wood from ya. And let's bring these two back with the wood we've got so far. Thankfully, it's pretty quick to replace Jack with uh, another gathering dino. I think I'll probably make the wood, or the dock, or pier I'm going to do out of wood. Or should I do stone? Something different, I'm not sure. Yeah, Neon should be able to follow pretty easily. He is a bit slower, because... Oh, God, the stupid... Like, see, that's a little bit of a problem I have with Ark. I can't call it a survival game, because the survival mechanics are so easily solved and addressed that it's more like just nuisance when they arise. Okay, let's get you a little further along. And tell you to stop following. Dun dun dun. Okay, Neon, take all this out of ya. Yeah, we should be able to make a lot of stuff now that we've got all that wood. I do need some more thatch, but that... I might be able to get on my own. Actually, you know what? Let me take a couple bits of wood if I can. See about upgrading the pickaxe, or I guess a pickaxe. I might have thrown it into a box. Let's see, did I throw the pickaxe away? Yeah, I think so. I've got a second hatchet with me, but that's because of what we had found before. So throw that in. There's a pickaxe. I'm not going to get those all the way up to as high as they can go. Or, ah, screw it, I will. Yeah, we will, just for the sake of efficiency with gathering stuff. I think we've shown we're at a point where we can get everything we want. It's just now busy work and trying to actually secure it all. Okay, so that's good there. That's fine there. Uh, next... Let me just see how much thatch I'm gathering once I use this on stuff. Holy crap! Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with getting the materials I need for uh, making up the trophy stands anymore. Good lord. It just flies up with, like, high-quality stuff. And yet you cannot make it yourself. You have to either mod it in like I have to upgrade stuff, or you have to get lucky in drops. Ark, you shoot yourself in the foot way too often. I think for now, with all that done, and the lodge looking pretty nice here, we'll end today's episode of Hunt the Island right here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, share in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video episode, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.